Hello friends and welcome back into the studio and welcome back to the YouTube channel. It has been a minute since I did one of these videos and I'll explain why in a second. But first I want to tell you about uh, this piece. So you're seeing me start off with uh, Copic Multiliner SP and a Chroma 110 Special Black flagship marker drawing Asuka from the WWE. She's one of the bigger uh, women's superstars there. She's one of the bigger superstars there. Uh, you don't even need a qualifier on it. She's the current Raw Women's Champion, if you're not watching wrestling. And, uh, yeah, I love wrestling, so getting to draw uh, this while watching Monday Night Raw was pretty fun. And now you're seeing me go in with colors, and you'll see me use color, uh, Copic marker, and some Prismacolor color pencil, as well as some uh, Chroma marker on the colorful costume and the skin tone of Asuka. And she has colorful hair as well. So, um, right now you're seeing me do her lips. I end up redoing them. I ended up doing the green. You'll notice if you pay attention later in the video without seeing me do it, there's green makeup below her eyes and green makeup below her lips and on her lips. That's a current look of hers, and I decided to mix it up a little bit and use the current look. Um, so yeah, I was away from the channel for a little bit because I got a little bit behind on Inktober, and it just I was drawing the portraits the way my dead day was scheduled. We I was doing a lot of running around with the family. And then I would be sitting down around 5, 6 o'clock and having to do a full Inktober piece, which were 9 by 12 comic book pieces. And I would really get done with them just kind of right before posting them. And so the idea of pulling out everything and setting up the cameras to video and then editing it, it just seemed kind of, uh, it was really just too stressful. And so I decided I wasn't going to half do it and have videos on the channel that I wasn't happy with and that I knew uh, viewers might not be happy with. And so I decided I'm going to definitely do videos again when I can do something special with them. And that's what I feel like this piece is. This is part one, and either tomorrow or Friday you're going to get part two. It may, if you're watching this later, it's probably already on the channel. I did a central piece, which was Asuka jumping in full color. And then in the background, I have four uh, squares coming off, two off of each side, top and bottom, that have a, tra like, it transitions through her career in black and white. Uh, and it shows the different face paints that she's used she's known for having different interesting makeup and it starts with kind of like her younger clown makeup going into now um i don't even know how to describe it but i'll definitely definitely try to do more videos um more again the way i was doing them monday wednesdays fridays maybe even more it's uh easier when you stay in the groove of getting into them and doing them to just kind of do the same step you did yesterday. And uh, tomorrow when you see the uh, chroma, you, I can't wait, to, wait till you see it. I'm using the chroma black and white set to do a portrait and uh, it's just something I'm, I'm really proud of. Thank you guys for giving me the time to uh, take you off the channel. And thank you for coming back and enjoying these with me. I hope you enjoy the ones that are to come. It's a pleasure doing them for you. Please like.
please subscribe. And please leave a comment below. I'd love to talk with you. Uh, and follow the links that are in the description. They'll show you some more of my artwork. And I'm happy to interact with you anywhere you are. Thank you.